Maybe Mr. Welsh will learn one day. This is pretty well what you do to a John Deere. <laughs> Good one. Got him! All right, over here at Dad's. Trying to get the dozer going. Got a bad switch. I took it apart. It's definitely the switch. So, trying to decide if I want to rig it up so I can get it started and move it out here where I can service it and everything, or just wait to do that until after I get the switch fixed. All right, so I've decided in order to pull the dozer out and get it serviced, uh, I went ahead and connected my two leads to the same terminal. And I have a master switch over here, so I'll be able to turn the start power to the starter on and off with that. Uh, but essentially, I'm just gonna crank, enable that and long enough to get it started. Then I'll disconnect that, pull it up where I'm going, shut it down so I can service it. Otherwise, I gotta wade the weeds and stuff. And I don't feel like doing that. So, but I'm gonna go ahead and stick this back in where it goes so it's not dangling around here getting shorted out on stuff. All right, give us some fuel. All right, I'm gonna engage it. We'll see if it starts. smokes really bad because the turbocharger is not spinning so I'll have to get that loosened up but other than that it started really good time to service it what are these dark clouds here I wonder what like those are what that's from This is why I use the gun on this stuff and not the hand pump. Later machines, it's actually just a plate. The roller works good as long as it spins, but if it's not spinning, it ain't gonna last long. No, I didn't. I got that on video though. Getting ready to change my second tube of grease. Big machines take lots of grease. I mean, unless you don't care about them, then they don't take anything. All right, Jidge. We're gonna take a ride back, look at what Dad's been working up to plant here in the next week or so. here out then we're going to take these trees right here out yeah. here's the other side bottom field we already took this fence row out last year all along here there's a row of trees there we took all that out and got this cleaned up Yeah. 
here on the other side of this little bridge here. Well, guys, got some bad news. Ginger just got hit on the road. I've been looking for her for an hour. I heard the car hit her, and then they sped off, and I heard her yipping, and then she stopped yipping. So I got no idea where she is, just looking kind of in the weeds and tall grass where she might hunker down. Haven't had any luck yet. So we'll see. I don't know if she's alive still. What? But let's see if we find her. It's about 10.30 right now. Sucks. All right, so Ginger came back. It came out back out here about three in the morning and now she's back in her doghouse and she's gotten a little sick but she is doing better than what we were thinking she would have been uh, she has a pretty good gash on her hind leg here all right we got her loaded up in the truck she's got a pretty good looking gash or a bad looking gash however you want to look at it on her hind on her hip here she was laying on that side in her doghouse in yeah, the straw so, so it's, it's pretty filthy. nasty but I'm sure the vet will get it cleaned up. And she actually got out of the doghouse on her own strength and came out to the truck when we got the truck running and let the tailgate down. He's a sucker for taking a truck ride. This will be her second time getting hit on this road. Obviously, that's why she has three legs now. But... All right, we made it to the vet office. Dogs are very tough though. She hasn't whimpered or whined or anything the whole time. So, she's actually seemed pretty relaxed, but she... On the operating table. All right, we just uh, left the vet's office. They, are, they sedated her and they're gonna clean it up and stitch it up and let us know when she's awake and ready to pick up, so. Sounds like she's probably going to be okay. We'll see. She doesn't feel real good. She's definitely in some pain. She's got a pet frog here. Now, what are you doing here, Mr. Froggy? Go on. Yeah, you're in a little bit of pain, aren't you, baby girl? See the flap they had to sew back on. They put a drain tube in. And uh, she has a lot of swelling and bruising right in here. We're gonna put her in the garage. We got a bed made for her so she heals up a little bit. And uh, then if she hey. heals, she'll move back outside because she is an outside dog. Aren't you, Ging? It's always a good sign when they take a drink. See if we can do this one-handed. All right, we're gonna see if this thing will start. Back seat. Thank goodness. This boy is happiest on a tractor. Or really any piece of equipment with an engine. Right, Cade? You'll even take a truck. He's scared of nothing. Dozer, giant, loud, doesn't care. If it's got an engine and it's running, he wants it. Even if it's not running, he wants it. That right, Cade. You gonna be the rake man for long? See? Yeah. Yeah, tractor. So, yep, next year. Not quite, that's a little early. Give it a few years. Now we're getting ready to go to bed. She's got like drinking a bunch of water. She's thrown up several times. Could just be from them putting her under. All right, we'll keep you updated. Hopefully I don't lose my, my best hay hand I got. <laughs>